Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got this interesting problem. x equals to 1 plus square root of 20, 21 divided by 2. And now we are going to find the value of uh, x power 3 minus 506x minus uh, 502 and whole power 7. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we want to find the value of this given polynomial by just plugging in this x value in these over here for x, the job is not going to be that easy. So therefore, we have to be a little creative and we're going to think outside the box. Let's focus on this, our very first equation, x equal to 1 plus square root of 20, 21 divided by 2. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and uh, isolate this radical part. So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, 2 at the denominator by multiplying uh, 2 on the right hand side and 2 on the left hand side as well. On the left hand side this is going to become 2x equals to this 2 and 2 cancels out. We ended up with 1 plus uh, square root of 20. 21 and now let's go ahead and move this one on the left hand side so we are going to have a 2x minus 1 equal to square root of 20 21 and now let's go ahead and undo this square root by squaring on the right hand side so therefore we are going to square on the left hand side as well and now let's go ahead and expand this binomial on the left hand side by using uh, this identity a minus b square. So let's go ahead and take care of this square. So that's going to give us uh, 4x square minus 4x plus 1 square is same as 1 equal to this square and square root they undo each other. So we got 20, 21 on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and subtract 20, 21 from both sides on the right hand side. This cancels out. So on the left hand side, this equals to 4x square minus 4x. And that is going to give us negative 20, 20. And on the right hand side equals to 0. And now I can see that this equation is divisible by 4 across the board. Let me go ahead and divide by 4 for each and every term across the board. So we are going to get this 4 and 4 is gone. So we ended up with x square likewise minus x minus that is going to give us 5, 0, 5 equal to zero. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this part now. And here I have copied it down and we can look at these first two terms. We can see that x is in common between x power 3 and x. So therefore I can factor out x over here. So we got x square minus 5 o 6 and then minus 502 and then the bracket whole power 7. Now let's recall this equation 1 and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and isolate x square by moving these negative x and negative 505 on the right hand side. So x square could be written as then x and then plus five zero five now i'm going to replace this x square over here by this x plus five zero five so let's go ahead and do that one so we got x outside and inside the parentheses i'm going to replace this x square by x plus five zero five and then we got this negative 506. Let me write it down. Negative 506. And then parentheses closed. And then I'm going to write down negative 502. Bracket closed. 
and then power 7. Let's go ahead and simplify it furthermore. So x times inside the parentheses, we are going to reduce this thing. So we are going to get x and this become minus 1 and then minus 5, 0, 2, bracket close and then power 7. And now let's go ahead and distribute this x. So we are going to get x square minus x and then minus 5, 0, 2 and then whole power 7. And now let's recall once again this equation 1 which is right up here. Let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 5, 0, 5 on the right hand side. So this could be written as x square minus x equals to 5, 0, 5. Now let's focus on this part inside this parentheses x square minus x. I am going to replace this one by 5, 0, 5. So let's go ahead and do that one. So I'm going to replace this uh, x square minus x by 5, 0, 5. So I'm going to write down 5, 0, 5 minus 5, 0, 2, this part, and then the whole power 7. And now 5, 0, 5 minus 5, 0, 2 is going to give us 3, and then whole power 7. And now 3 power 7 is same as writing 3 7 times and that is going to give us 2187. So 3 power 7 turns out to be 2187. So thus the value of this whole polynomial turns out to be 2187. So thus our final answer turns out to be a 2187. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.